All right, guys, so today we got to talk about a gender fluid actor by the name of James Rose, whom's uh, videos I stumbled across on TikTok. And uh, there's one video in particular in which he basically argues that women who don't like seeing biological men or, you know, penises in a locker room, um, they have internalized misogyny. And I'm going to tell you guys, what this guy said, right, his argument that he made really broke my brain, right? It really broke my brain, okay? Um, because, guys, I try to be an open-minded person, right? I, I really try to be open-minded. I'm an open-minded conservative, okay? I love America, okay? I love traditional family values. Uh, however, I do have an open mind to learning about other people's cultures, right? And how they live and eating their food and partaking in their cultural practices, because I find this stuff to be interesting, right? How other people live. And that also applies to this gender stuff, right? I'm open-minded to learn about it. Even though I don't agree with it, I'm open-minded to learn, okay? To learn and to understand. So I'm truly trying to be open-minded to some of this stuff. But this one right here, bro, this take right here takes the cake. And before I get into it, I just want to describe to you guys who this, who this person is so that you guys get a full understanding of what we're dealing with here right uh james rose goes by they them slash she but is also non-binary um which in my opinion makes no sense whatsoever because if you're non-binary i thought you weren't a she or he but apparently this person is a, a she and non-binary but hey it is what it is <laughs> i think if i saw this person in public uh it would be very hard for me to tell exactly what <laughs> this individual is in regards to how they identify so uh they probably get misgendered a lot okay <laughs> I, I can imagine that that's something that they deal with okay and then they probably complain about it a lot too they're a new york based actor right uh health at every size personal trainer trauma informed <laughs> yoga teacher and the co-host of the full soul nutrition podcast um this person writes about gender liberation eating disorder recovery sex uh feelings and exes on instagram where um this person hopes to leave the internet uh, a little better than they found it okay so before we get into this i just want to let you guys know uh if you like my content and you want to support my channel feel free to do so using the links in the description below you can support the patreon you support the paypal you support the merch there are multiple ways to support my channel if you would like to do so so without further ado uh let's go ahead and get into this video in which james argues that uh women who are uncomfortable with trans women in the locker room uh are misogynist take a look a lot of cis women share this sentiment and i do want to break it down this may be uncomfortable to sit through and to listen to and i think that's why it's important that we do this feeling like trans people are a threat to you in a space like a bathroom or a locker room is actually a version of internalized misogyny which is not necessarily your fault because it's impossible to divorce our socialization from the prevalence of patriarchy but it also does mean it's our responsibility to unlearn it for the safety of fellow women especially trans women in my experience as a gender educator the majority of cis women who have experienced violence at the hands of men or just patriarchy patriarchy or living in today's world see anything that codes to them as remotely masculine, male, etc and fear it, which in many ways is a survival tactic that makes sense. The difference is when we code trans people as the wrong gender, we're actually doing them way more a disservice than we are protecting ourselves because you're ostracizing and further alienating trans people. Watch the documentary Disclosure on Netflix if you want more on that. So being uncomfortable with trans people in your space is something that you were taught and you can unlearn that. It's important to recognize that we can't tell someone's gender by their presentation, by their genitals, by the way that they look. All of that can be changed. All of that is arbitrary. None of that is central to your identity necessarily. So the discomfort and the fragility around seeing somebody who looks different than you, if they look different than you, you can't necessarily tell if somebody's trans, is actually your stuff to work on. What are the limitations in your worldview about womanhood that are excluding this person from your concept of it? What are the ways that misogyny and patriarchy have failed you to the point where you can't see the sameness in you and other women that are trans? When a trans woman walks into a bathroom or a locker room, we all share the same experience of being oppressed by misogyny and patriarchy. We call it different things. We call it trans misogyny for 
for trans people because it exists very specifically and we call it misogyny when it happens to anybody who experiences misogyny, right? I said this in like my other video, but we're on the same team. So it's up to you to unlearn that trans people are scary and it's up to you to relearn and expand your definition of womanhood. And it's up to you to ultimately reckon with why are you scared of something that is a part of who you are. We're way more similar than you think and we all just want liberation from the same systems that are tying us down. Guys, I've never seen anything more misogynistic than a biological man explaining to women, biological women, why they should be comfortable with biological men being in a locker room with them. I think feminists call this mansplaining, right? I think that's what it's called. It's called mansplaining. And women allegedly are supposed to hate that, right? They're supposed to hate mansplaining. So I find it fascinating as to why is it that a trans woman okay uh i think that's what this person would define themselves as who you know says that hey we're we're real women why is it that this person who thinks they're a real woman mansplaining to biological women right doing something that they claim that women hate <laughs> right I, I i don't understand right and again I, I i just found the things that this person was saying just to be so confusing like my, my brain hurt okay i had to watch that like three or four or five times to really articulate a response because there's just so much going on there right that this person essentially is trying to say that well you know you're not supposed to assume somebody's gender right but if somebody goes into a locker room right if, if somebody walks to a female locker room okay and they take off their clothes and there's a penis you're not supposed to automatically be uncomfortable you're, you're at that point you're supposed to assume that this person uh is transgender right because, you know, apparently th there's similarities there, right? You you're all fighting against the, the patriarchy, right? The cis male, okay? Yeah. And don't y'all love it how, how this person wraps up the bow on top uh, with, hey, hey, we all in this together. We're all against the, <laughs> the straight male, right? That's the common enemy, right? But you see what I'm saying here, okay? You you're supposed to assume, but you're not supposed to assume, okay? Uh, you're supposed to be able to tell, but you're not supposed to be able to tell. Right, again, th th that's why I'm confused. I, I don't understand. Because this guy acknowledged, he said, well, women have been socialized over time, right? And a lot of this is biological as well too, not to be comfortable in men's spaces, which I 100% agree with, right? Women should not be comfortable in men's spaces. That is literally a biological thing, right? It, it is for survival purposes. There are places where men belong and there are places where women belong, okay? But again, if you have internalized this as a woman, it's your fault, right? It is your fault, okay? And uh, you have to conform to a minority uh, because it is your problem, right? It's not the problem of the minority, okay, that feels this way. It's the problem of the majority of women who may be uncomfortable with this. Uh, they're the ones with the problem, right, according to this person, okay? I, again, it, it, I just find this to be so just... Ah, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I honestly don't even know what to say, right? It's like, like the, the logic is just not working, right? On any level, right? It's, it's always every single time you have to conform to us. We don't have to conform to you. You have to conform to us. And if I want to go in a female locker room, then you are the issue, right? Not me. Even though I know, I know that women have been socialized to be uncomfortable with penises in the locker room. And it's not even just a social construction. It's also biological as well, too. This person actively knows that. But at the same time, he's like, no, no, no. It's still your fault, <laughs> right? It's still your fault, okay? And you have to conform to me, right? Instead of saying, hey, you know what? Let me conform to the rest of society, okay? Because the argument that this person made and the fact that it's so confusing, in my opinion, is the strongest argument for what I've been advocating for for a long time, which it, it seems like nobody else advocates for. Use a restroom slash locker room that matches your genitalia, right? All that awkwardness and uncomfortableness goes out the window if people just did that, right? If you got a penis, then you need to use the male restroom, okay? Because you still have a penis, right? Now, if you undergo surgery, right, and you, you know, cut off your twig and your berries, and, and you also primarily look like a woman, right? I think it would be more awkward, right, and uncomfortable, not just for uh, the transgender woman, but also for biological men, for that person to use the male's bathroom, right? I think it's okay at that point if you've actually went through, <laughs> right, cutting off your penis, okay? If you went through that, then, hey, you know what? If you want to use a woman's restroom, 
that's fine, right? You got the battle scar to prove that you're really about that life, right? You're really about that life. I have no issues, right? If you've went through the surgical change, that way, again, if you take off your clothes or whatever, the awkwardness is not there anymore, right? It defeats that, okay? And, and vice versa, right? If for whatever reason, you know, if you are a, you know, trans man or whatever, you're a woman that transitioned to a man, hey, if you want to use the men's restroom because you, I don't know how they do it, grew a penis or whatever, um, hey, you know, it, it is what it is at that point, right? But otherwise, if that's not the case, then you should just use the bathroom <laughs> that matches your genitalia, right? It, it, it's really that simple. That's how you defeat the uncomfortableness for everybody. But see, the issue here is that this person doesn't care about whether or not other people are uncomfortable. They're only concerned about whether or not they're comfortable, right? Even though they are in the minority, okay? They want everybody else to conform to them. They don't want to conform to everybody else, right? And if you don't conform to them, then you're a foe, right? And you are a misogynist. You've internalized misogyny, which by definition means that you hate women or that you have some type of prejudice or bias against women, right? For whatever reason, I, it doesn't even make sense. Again, if you don't like biological men being in a locker room, then you hate women. Right? I don't, I don't understand how you, how you make that work, right? That, that something's not, that's not right, right? That doesn't make any sense. Okay. So again, it, I, I just found what this person was saying to be so just out there, right? And in, in, in the logic to try to justify uh calling women misogynist because they don't want biological men in their spaces it it, it, it really just blows my mind it really does right <laughs> but hey let me know what you guys think make sure you like comment and subscribe most importantly share a black conservative perspective peace